What you guys, today we're taking a look at the newest way to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So if you're one of these people that are stuck with an older computer that doesn't meet the system requirements for Windows 11 and you're worried about the end of life of Windows 10 and you've got a system that says maybe this PC must support TPM 2.0 or other support requirements that Microsoft have put in place for Windows 11, then this video is for you. Now it goes without saying that not everyone can afford a brand new computer and some people might want to upgrade to Windows 11 when the time comes. This is probably not going to go away. It's probably going to affect the next version of Windows. So you're not going to be able to skip it and be able to go straight to that version from Windows 10. So a word of warning here, installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware is not recommended as Microsoft could stop Windows updates to that machine in the future. So do not use this on mission critical computers because you don't know what links Microsoft will go to in the future to stop people using Windows 11 with unsupported hardware. If you use TPM 2.0 on the motherboard with a little adapter, if possible, or use Linux on an old PC or buy a new computer. So continue at your own risk. So if you want to do it, all you need to do here is go to Microsoft's website and download the ISO file for your version of Windows. Make sure you download the correct version. So I'm going to go here and select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO. Come down and you should see the download button. Click on this. It will validate your request and ask you to select a language. So in my case, it's English International that I used. So if you use that version, then select it. So go ahead and choose your version. It will validate it again and allow you to download the 64-bit version from Microsoft website. Once you've got this downloaded, you can then put it onto your computer here. So in my download section, I've got it right here. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and mount it and click open. This will now mount this onto the computer. So we should be able to see all the files inside that, that ISO. Now we've got this open here. Let's go ahead and open up File Explorer, and we're going to go to this PC, then go to your C drive, and then put a folder inside here. So right click, New Folder, and name it Windows 11. Once we've got the folder created called Windows 11, like so, we can now open up that folder, which is going to be empty, and we're going to also open up the mounted ISO here, highlight all of the files inside here, and then just drag them over to the empty folder which we just created called Windows 11. Once we've done this, we can dismount the ISO because we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using the files that are inside the empty folder, which is now full of all of the Windows files from that ISO. Pretty straightforward stuff, right? So all we need to do now is you should see inside this PC, inside the C drive, inside that Windows 11 folder, you should see all of the Windows uh, files that we just dragged off of that ISO. All you need to do now is open up a command prompt and run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control, and you should see a black prompt box looking like this. And all you need to do now is type out this simple command c colon backslash Windows 11, which is the name of the folder that we created, backslash setup.exe. And all this is doing is requesting you to run the setup.exe inside that Windows 11 folder. Do a space forward slash product, then space server, and then push enter on the keyboard and you should see a Windows popping up. Now, don't worry, it does say install Windows server. It's not going to install Windows server. It's going to install Windows 11 Pro for me because I have Windows 10 Pro on this computer. So basically, we're just going to push next here and it's going to get some updates and do some checks. Once it checks the PC, you'll see this time it won't flag it for a TPM 2.0. It's going to basically bypass this and allow us to accept the terms conditions. Choose what you want to keep. You can choose whatever you like here. Keep your files and settings and apps. Keep your personal files or keep nothing and it will completely erase all the computer. I'm going to leave the top selection here and we're going to go ahead and click next. It's going to go off and get some things ready for us. And now it's ready to install Windows 11 Pro, as you see right there on the screen. You'll get the restart here and it will start to update all of the 
version of Windows that we have. So it's working on some updates. I will speed this up quite a bit so you can see, and I won't skip anything so you'll see exactly what will happen once we get to the desktop. So there we are. We are now at the desktop with Windows 11 installed on this unsupported hardware PC. And basically that is it. You have now installed Windows 11 onto a system that is not supported. I can quickly go in here and go to the about page and you should see here that it says Windows 11 Pro has been installed, not Windows Server. And it's a super easy bypass. But again, at the end of the day, should you install this onto an old, say, 10 year old computer? Probably not. You're probably better to put Linux on it or upgrade. Uh, to a new computer or something like that but it's there for people that do want to do it and they want to learn something about it by all means Microsoft have said that they could close this door anytime in the future so bear that in mind as well because you'd never know what level Microsoft will go to to stop you from using Windows 11 on unsupported hardware my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the very next video bye for now